Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I got just what ails ya. Another Kansas City Royals baseball game in my 2023 Kansas City Royals out of the park 24 playthrough. And we are going into game 79 of the season, so we are nearly at the halfway point. As you can see down here, we are the bottom team or the bottom feeder here in the uh, Central Division of the American League. Uh, although only by like four games behind Detroit, but we are 34 and 44, which actually I think is better than what the real Royals were doing at this point in the season, in the 2023 season. So, um, without any further ado, we're going to get on with the game against the Guardians, because that's who we are playing. And let me, uh, let me turn down my phone there. And um, so, yeah, let's play the game against the Guardians. So, um, let's go over the lineup for the Guardians. We have... Uh, uh, Jimenez leading off and playing second base. Quan is the left fielder batting second. Ramirez is at third base batting third. Um, Naylor will be the first baseman and he bats in the cleanup spot. Mike Zanino is the catcher batting fifth. Um, Bell will be the DH. Rosario is at short. Gonzalez in right. And uh, Miles Straw will be the center fielder. And a Bibby will be pitching against us. Never heard of that guy. He's got 15 games on the year. He's 5-6 and six with a 469 earned run average and a 131 whip. Uh, for us, we're going to lead off. Uh, we get the normal lineup that we usually have. Bobby Witt Jr. leading off and playing third base. Michael Massey, uh, the second baseman, batting second. Uh, Perez is going to be our catcher, and he is on fire, as you can see. He's batting third. Pasquatino, our, uh, D, our uh, cleanup hitter, is going to be at first base. Fran Mil Reyes will be the DH. Uh, MJ Melendez will be in right, and Mel Melendez and Reyes are also on fire. Jackie Bradley Jr. will be in left. Kyle Isbell, the center fielder. Now, he's cold, so we'll see how he performs. On the year, he's only hitting 182, so he's been cold for a while. And Nicky Lopez is the shortstop. We've got on the mound today, Brady Singer, 16 games, a 4-8 and eight record, and a 383 earned run average with a 140 whip. And so let's start the game. With all of that having been said, let's get in there. All right, so we are going to pitch to the batter, the first batter of the game. We're going to get that nice panoramic view of uh, the ballpark in Kansas City, Kauffman Stadium, or whatever they call it now. I'm not even really sure. And he deals, and he strikes out the first guy. Nice. Brady Singer whiffing the first man. The uh, second batter will be Stephen Kwan. And he strikes him out, too. So, yeah, Singer is on fire today. Let's see if we can keep carrying that throughout the game. And we would like to get a lot of innings out of him, too. But the next guy, man, goes deep in that. Who is that? That's probably uh, um, their third baseman. Yeah, Ramirez. That was Ramirez. So Naylor is up with, a, with Ramirez at second. And let's see if we can get him. We can, yes. Shallow fly left. Gets the third out. And so no real damage done. Just a double by Ramirez and he doesn't score. And so we got Bobby Witt Jr. up at the plate. And he is going to strike out. Next up is Michael Massey. Michael Massey having a good year for us. 319 batting average and a 363 on base percentage. And he is going to rip it to center field for a single. He's aboard. One on, only one out. 
And up steps Selvi, Salvador Perez, and he's going to rip it down the line, and it's going to get past the left fielder. That could be a run. Uh, yes, it will be. Whoa, no, he's going to be thrown out. Are you kidding me? Was he? Was he thrown out? No, he wasn't. They missed him. They didn't get him. I don't know why they let the ball go all the way through to the catcher, and then the catcher just didn't bother to tag him. But anyway, so we got the run. They did throw him out trying to extend himself over to third base. So there is two outs. And then uh, the runner is uh, out at first. But we did get the run. I mean, that's the most important thing. I, would, I wouldn't I would rather have had it be the other way around where um, he either stopped or he didn't get, uh, or he didn't, um, or he got thrown out at home and then the other runner went to second or third or whatever. So uh, Brady Singer strikes another man out. He is whiffing this Guardians lineup. Man, he is, he's bringing the smoke today. He's bringing the senior smoke. And so now Ahmad Rosario is up. And he's going to strike out. My God, this is a crazy good game for Singer. We're going to have to check his stats when he gets back out there on the mound. But right now we got Fran Mil Reyes, who's hitting 244 on the year. Not very good. But we have a one nothing lead, and Fran Mil Reyes goes down on strikeouts. MJ Melendez hitting 254. Kind of a decent season. Not the greatest, but he's going to go shopping at the gap on that. And he, that should get him a double. And it does. Melendez pulling in at second base with Jackie Bradley Jr. up. And Jackie Bradley Jr. is going to walk. So we got two guys on with only one out and Isbell. Now, he's doing terrible, but uh, he also can't bunt. So we're just going to let him hit away, and that might advance the runner to third, and it does. So we've got runners at the corners now with two down and uh, Nicky Lopez up at the plate. And he walks to load the bases. Is that going to bring Witt up? Yeah, come on, Witt, man. Come on. Come on, man. Well, he hit a slow grounder, but they're going to get him at first. So no runs come across for the Royals. We have the one nothing lead, and Singer um, is, yeah, 370. He's lowered his ERA so far to 374. Has 77 strikeouts in 91 innings, but looks like he's trying to get back to the one-for-one one ratio. Right there, he allows the fly ball to left field, maintaining the one nothing lead, and uh, Miles Straw is the batter. Great defensive center fielder, but he isn't much of a hitter, and he flies out to center field. And that brings up Andres Jimenez, and he is going to ground out to first base, and Pasquatino takes it himself. Three up, three down, we go to the bottom of the third with Michael Massey our best hitter, up at the plate, and he rips it down the line, and he shows why. He rips it down the left field line for a double. Shows why he's our best hitter. And he's going to pull in at second. Now the question is, do I sacrifice not with Selvi? We're, we're going to let Selvi hit. And, uh, man, he didn't, well, he didn't go. And, uh, Selvi hits it up the middle. Is that going to score Massey? It will. And Selvi decides not to press his luck and he'll stay at first base. Which brings to the plate Mr. Pasquatino. And Pasquatino is going to fly out to center, it looks like. And he does. So there is one down with a man at first and Fran Mil Reyes up. Today he is 0 for 1. But... That is going to be a base hit. And now we have runners at first and second with only one down. And Melendez, who doubled his last time up, I believe. And he is going to hit a shallow fly out to left. We don't try to advance on that. And that brings up Bradley. And Bradley... Hits a little squibber back to the pitcher, and he's thrown out. So we don't get any runs there. Well, we do. Actually, we do. 
We did get a run. We have a 2 nothing lead now. That might be enough with the way Singer has been pitching. He's, you can see he's still easily in the green. Got a lot of gas left. That's going to be a fly out to the left fielder. There's one down quickly. And Jose Ramirez, who doubled earlier in the game in the first inning. This time he's going to ground to first. And they, Pasquatino will throw on to Singer for the out. There is two down quickly and Josh Naylor, whose brother is in the Cleveland system. Not sure if he's on this team. He was in real life. He was in 2023 in real life. So Tanner Bybee, Bibby, whatever you, however you pronounce it, is going to deal to Isbell, who is having a terrible year, hitting 181. But he gets a base hit there. Nice base hit. Let me see if I can get him to steal. We're going to try to steal second. And off he goes. Off he goes and he makes it. So now he is at second with Nicky Lopez up. And I'm going to try to bunt with Lopez and get him over to third. That looks like it's going to work. And yes, it does. So now we've got a man just 90 feet away with one out in the inning. And Bobby Witt Jr. up. Even a fly ball I'll take, Bobby. Just a fly ball, but he's going to get a base hit. And that's going to knock in our third run. We got a 3 nothing lead. Look out for the Royals. Break up the Royals. We got Mike Michael Massey. Michael Massey is going to fly out to right. So that's the second out of the inning. Man at first and Selvi up, and he's going to strike out. But we did push another run across for Singer, who is, again, pitching really well. Uh, today he's pitched four innings, allowed only one hit, and struck out five. So he is owning, he is owning this Gu Guardians team, and hopefully going forward in the years to come, he'll build on a season like that. He strikes out the next guy. He's crazy good today. And uh, he, you know, hopefully he builds on that. And I will be the um, beneficiary of a pretty good pitching staff. Kansas City has a lot of good young starters, both in real life and here in Out of the Park. So Pasquatino is up. He's 0 for 2 today, but hitting 242 on the year. And he is going, looks like, ground out to second base. One away quickly which brings up Fran Mil Reyes. He's hitting 246 on the year with 16 home runs. And he is going to ground out to shortstop. So there's two out quickly. I'm glad I pushed that other run across last inning for the three nothing, the good 3 nothing lead. And MJ Melendez up. He's got some power. He's got some smack. But he hits it fairly deep. But it's a fly ball to center. And he's out. And so we are going to the top of the sixth with Singer. Still got plenty of gas in that tank. He should easily be able to give me seven, except he walks a guy there. So if he keeps doing that, maybe not. But he strikes out the next guy. So there's one down, man at first, and Jimenez back to the top of the order. And he is going to rip a single to center field. Can we stop him from going to third? We can. Runners are at first and second with one away. They're starting to get to Singer now, and Quan is up. He's a good hitter. But he's going to ground it to first, who throws on to second, so there's a fielder's choice there, and they're going to have runners at the corners with two down and Jose Ramirez, the batter. Now, he's dangerous, but he strikes out, and so that is going to be it. Still got the good 3 nothing lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Bradley Jr. up. I'm going to try to get another inning out of Singer for sure. But uh, Bradley Jr. flies out to right field, bringing up Isbell, who does have a hit today. And he's got another hit. 181 coming into this game. He was colder than Alaska. But he is 2 for 3 on the day. And that brings up Nicky Lopez. Nicky Lopez! All right! Ramirez jumped, but he couldn't get that one. Couldn't climb the ladder quite high enough to get to snag it. You've got runners at first and second with one away, and Bobby Witt Jr., who has, he's been, now he's been cold, but he's going to, and he's going to fly out to center and remain cold, which brings up our main man, Massey. He is our best hitter, and our best hitter just popped out to third base. 
So let's see. We really desperately want Singer to give us this inning. He's pitched six, allowed two hits, walked a guy, and struck out nine. So he's got the Guardians' number, and man, he just continues to have their number. And he's still in the yellow. I mean, he's not even really at the red yet. And there's that's going to be a rip up the middle past the shortstop. So that's going to be a single. Man aboard with one down. And that's going to be... Oh! <laughs> Oh, we could not get that ball. Are you kidding me? He dove and he couldn't get it. So now we've got two of the uh, Guardians have two aboard with only one out. That is should be a double play, and it is. They pull the good double play and get us out of the inning. Now, the question is, do I try to pitch Singer one more inning? And I think the answer is yes. We got Selvi up. Now I got a three run lead, so, you know, you got to think maybe that's going to be enough. I will warm a guy up when the inning starts just in case he starts to get into trouble. But I'm going to try to, for sure, get him through the, uh, through the eighth inning and the strikeouts. So the uh, the uh, Guardians bullpen comes in, does a good job. You got Oscar Gonzalez facing Brady. You can see he's not he's really not tired yet, and he strikes him out. Man, what is going on here? Eleven strikeouts in seven and a third for Brady Singer. Maybe he can get me a complete game. That would be awesome. But that next guy rips it right down the right field line. Who was that? Ramirez? Was that Ramirez? That was not Ramirez, it was Miles Straw, surprisingly. Miles Straw got him, now this next guy, no, that's going to be a base hit. He's going to let it fall in front of him, come on. Runner at second with only one out. I am still going to try to get him through this inning. In fact, I said I was going to warm somebody up, and I didn't. There's two down. I'll, I'll warm somebody up after this, uh, after we get out of this. Let's hope we get out of this. It's 3-1. to one, And that's going to be a slow roller, and they're not going to get anybody. Come on, he puts it in his pocket. Well, now it's too late to warm somebody up and get him in in time to stop the bleeding. So let's just hope. And yes, he does get the man at second. So I gambled and won there. We have a two-run lead going into the bottom of the eighth. And I will warm somebody up now. Um, and uh, that that somebody is going to be Garrett. We're going to uh, we're going to warm up Garrett. Make sure he's ready and raring to go. But we got MJ Melendez up in a two-run lead here, batting in the bottom of the eighth, and he is going to hit a nice. Deep ball, but it's going to be a fly out to right. One down, and Jackie Bradley Jr. is the batter. And he's going to strike out. So there's two down, and that brings up Kyle Isbell. And Kyle Isbell, man, that dude, he is making up for lost time. The dude came in hitting 181, but it's a lot better now. He's 3 for 4 this game with Nicky Lopez, the batter. And Nicky Lopez is going to hit. Maybe, maybe, did he beat it out? He It looks like he did. So we've got runners at first and second with two down and back to Bobby Witt. Now this has been the guy that's been cold and really terribly cold. And I am going to go bring in Amir Garrett right now. We're not even going to wait. We're not even going to see if uh, Singer can get us the complete game. We don't need it. And we got a two-run lead. I would like to walk away with that. That is going to be a medium fly ball to center field and for the first out. Next up is Rosario with one down. And he is going to hit a fly ball, hopefully, to right field, and he does. So there's two down really quickly, and Oscar Gonzalez up. Let's put this in the books, buddies. No, that's a base hit. 
They got a man aboard with two down. Man at first. Straw up. Straw had a big hit an inning or two ago, but he flies out to right. We come out on the field. Everything is happiness, and we won the game. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, all right, I want to look at the, uh, let you guys look at the box score. Wit was, well, I mean, I, don't, I didn't even remember that he got a hit, but he was one for five. Massey was two for four. Perez was two for four. Isbell, three for four, raising his average from 181 to 191. And Lopez was two for two with a walk. So everybody did their job here, and Singer especially did. He went eight innings, allowed seven hits. One earned run, struck out 11, and then Garrett got the save. So we will leave the game, and uh, yeah, I mean, we are, uh, we're putting it together, and uh, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.